bet you didn't know that in 1981, you could order a Cadillac with a built-in CB radio. So I bet you didn't know some of the differences between Red Oak and White Oak. Here we are in the Red Oak aisle, and this is Red Oak Lumber getting ready to be made into handrails, stair treads, box tools, and all the things that you love to sell. Right next door, come with me. This is the Isle of White Oak. Do you see any difference? To the untrained eye, it is really difficult to see the difference. So let's dive in a little bit more and see what happens when we put a finish on Red Oak and White Oak. Here we have a tread that has a finish on it. This is a White Oak tread. This is a Red Oak sample. Boy, I'm telling you, the differences are very, very difficult to pick up to the untrained eye. So the red oak is gonna take a finish very similar to how the red oak, and we really wanna look at the edge grain, not the face grain. We're gonna look at the face grain, we're gonna compare the face grain here and here. The grain patterns are gonna be nearly identical between red and white oak. So if we're gonna get really nitpicky, what we would do is we would measure the ray lengths. And the rays are these little pieces from here to here. And you notice in a red, they tend to be shorter, whereas over here in the white oak, the rays tend to be longer. That, without uh, another method, which I'm about to show you, that would be the simplest way. So here is the foolproof, can't beat it way of determining the difference between red oak and white oak. We cut off a piece of wood, and this is red oak, and you can see how we're gonna see light through it. And that's because red oak is porous. It grows in such a way that the uh, liquids can move through the grain structure. Here's a white oak piece, and you can see there's no light shining through it, it's solid. Another way to think about it is, if you're gonna make a boat, you wanna make it out of white oak, not out of red oak. If you're gonna make a whiskey cask or a whiskey barrel, you wanna make that out of white oak as well. In fact, uh, one of the areas we really compete with in buying white oak is for the whiskey barrel manufacturers, as well as out of railroad ties. Railroad ties is a real common thing to be made out of white oak because it's really hard and gonna last a really long time. Really no strength difference or durability difference between red oak and white oak. Hey, thanks for watching.